Okay, so I have a little bit to talk about here. Well, we have a lot of it to talk about. But one thing is, last night's drive, Yeah, that's, that's how crazy my drive home was last night. I drove through a frickin' ice fog, trying not to die and get home. Um, never mind that, uh, that's not important. I actually have to go take care of something, um, and then we'll get into like what we're doing today, uh, which I actually did yesterday. I got out ice fishing, so don't worry. If you guys wanna stay tuned to that, you can skip towards that those of you guys that actually want to pay attention to what's happening with this channel and what's happening to me I'll get back to you in a second here I gotta go pack up some stuff and then run somewhere and drop something off and that's something you might want to see might not want to see I don't know it's gonna be a big part of the DWS Outdoors channel this season fingers crossed everyone likes it like I do it's, it's a very exciting thing Okay guys, uh, I have a lot to talk about here. Okay, so the big thing here is I'm going to be putting the three-wheeler in the trailer that you guys saw the monster come out of. Uh, you guys didn't see the whole monster because I want you guys to comment below what you think it is. Uh, most of you guys are going to know what it is, but you're not going to know exactly what it is. So comment below. I will pin whoever gets it exactly. If you get it exactly right, I'll pin it um, so nobody else has to guess. But until that point... I'm gonna let you guys guess. And I might tell you if you, like I said, if you're getting close, I'll give you some tips and stuff like that or clues. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to use that thing quite yet. Um, I've had a crazy, insane amount of things happen in the last week here. Um, this is actually the next day. Um, just for you guys wondering, that Cummins that I had, that was because my truck took a crap. A squirrel chewed some wires on my freaking wiring harness. Uh, right before I was actually supposed to go pick up the beast um, Comment below. Do you guys like the name of the beast? Uh, I have so much stuff. I wanted to have you guys uh, I want your input on um, this is the first thing that I've ever had that's like this and uh, Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in my storage unit for now. I Need to do that. I don't have room for it at my house I'm gonna take the three-wheeler which I think we're just gonna call call it big red I like big red. Um, it's a big red, and like I, I kind of like Clifford. I don't know. Comment below. Clifford or big red? We're just gonna call it one of the two. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'll be able to get that out on like four or five inches of ice. That's the coolest thing about the three wheeler. And uh, yeah, I got a lot more to catch up on with you guys. But I think I might even do that on the vlog channel. If you guys aren't on the vlog channel yet, it's just DWS Dave. Um, I'll have it linked below in my, like when you go to my main page, it's linked below. I have like three or four more channels. If you guys are new and you haven't seen any of that stuff yet, go subscribe to those if you want to keep up with everything back and forth. Um, but I'm going to make today's video kind of short here. I just wanted to unload the beast, get it, get it put away. You guys will see it shortly. Um, keep your fingers crossed for some good ice making weather so we can get it out. And, uh, yeah. That's all the tips I can give you guys. Comment below what you think it is. Either way, I'm gonna load up this three-wheeler and then we're gonna get out ice fishing. Okay, enough screwing around with machines and stuff like that. Uh, three-wheeler's ready. Um, and like I said, this has been a really crazy week. I've spent driving like six hours, seven hours, 10 hours a day, something like that. I forgot so many times already. I've, uh, one of the days I drove way, way, way up north to get, like I said, to pick up the beast. Uh, that was after I got the rental truck. And uh, yeah, please hit that like button. Do me a big favor so that I can continue filming because 
this whole fiasco this week cost me thousands of dollars. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not rich. I don't have a bunch of money to spend. Um, so <sighs> hope you guys enjoy this little video. We went out. Uh, I met up with my cousin up north. And I actually brought Jen with me. Uh, those of you guys know, that's my girlfriend. She's basically the only reason that I'm still doing this, uh, these videos. Uh, <laughs> you guys hit that like button. Encourage her to get out more. Comment below if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. But, yeah. I was out the other day. Uh, we got out on a crappie lake with my cousin, did some hole hopping, showed Jen uh, a good time, wanted to get her out doing that. So, And hopefully you guys enjoy that kind of stuff. Uh, like like I said, I'm going to put this over on the DWS Outdoors or DWS Dave channel, the vlog channel, uh, for more in-depth stuff. I'll talk about what happened this week. I'll just kind of go over it so you guys don't have to listen to me talk anymore. So let's get fishing. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm yeah, Jen. You, you never Jen. met Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome back up north. Yeah, I needed it. We drove forever though last night. I didn't get up till like 1. In the morning? Yep. Ouch. Oh, there's one. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> they, sh they show up and they just... Even the perch though, like, she'll have fun with those. Yeah. So I'm sit currently sitting in a 2500 Dodge. Oh yeah? Yeah, not not willingly, but that's what I've been driving for the last 24 hours because the squirrel chewed my wires. Yeah, right before we were leaving. So, <laughs> let off and then redo it. So that first, then push. <laughs> it takes a little bit to get used to because you like. You just gotta push down a little bit and it'll pull. If you stop it from going down, then it spins. Okay guys, uh, back out on the ice. And uh, yeah, I brought some people with me. Well, one of them lives here. <laughs> Cousin, Moody. She caught the first fish too. You guys will see that. Uh, I'm just recording this now because we just got out here. Ooh, sun's coming out. I got a fish. Um, crappie, quick baits. Live scoping, hopping holes. First ice. Let's go. I'm I'm excited. Cause I know I'm gonna drop it down one time. There's just gonna be like 80 fish in one spot. <laughs> so something you can do is this. Just like out at Cascade. Reel it up, put it in there. See how see how that moves? And then you go down a little bit. Can you see it in the hole? If you lean over. These fish are kind of spastic out here, so if you get it to do that a little bit, and then once you get one to come in, you just go like this. So, mm -hmm. lightly, and then sometimes you can just stop doing that and bring it up. Like, getting them to chase it's going to be what seals the deal. Oh, there's one. Drop. Yep. And he'll come back. Just stop. Stop at the 10. See the 10? Mm -hmm. Stop. Up, 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 up. Is that the hook? <laughs> you got him already. <laughs> Is that perch or? No, that's a white crappie. <laughs> got one. <laughs> First drop. <laughs> you want this? It's like seven, eight. It's a white crappie. Thin? I mean, he's not thin. He's a bluegill. Well, I figured you already had one. <laughs> huh? Who's better than one? That felt different. There's a black one. <laughs> Ultra light setup, barely moving. <laughs> are you good or? Huh? Are you good on fish? How big is it? Nine. I got a school of fish below me that's willing to play finally. Oh, 
Oh, Tim, I wish you were over here. <laughs> the <This is> giant. <laughs> There we go. There's your 10. <laughs> the cool thing is seeing the size on here. I, I'm starting to get used to seeing how big they are. But the one that I was yelling for was like, <laughs> it would make this look like a tiny little dot. <laughs> you want this one? <laughs> that was so good. That was too good that you set the hook as I shot across the hole. <laughs> I told you the fish were over there. <laughs> okay, I need something he can swallow. Come here. Come back. That was a bigger one. Finally had one of those decent sized high riders. Came in and just just barely nibbled on the rip and wrap. <laughs> What's this one? That's a black. You get a bigger one? Uh, but there. Bigger out here is relative, but... Make them all purple. <laughs> yeah. I think I beat you. Yeah, I definitely beat you. <laughs> this thing's three. Well, that's interesting. I threw that guy back and some other ones came from a distance. They have to be eating each other. The babies, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, yeah, Hootie. You got some there? Oh, set the hook a little too hard there. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Now I'm learning how to set the hook on this thing. <laughs> Wait, there's a bluegill. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time I think I got a bluegill out here. <laughs> what are you? Oh, is that a white? Oh, perch swallowing my bait. Okay, it doesn't look like it because my phone's picking up light pretty well right now, but here's my cousin. Jen's way over there packing up. And uh, yeah, got out for the first time up here in the north woods and did a little crappie chasing. Uh, I have uh, some stuff to announce later on. There's a reason I drove up here with Jen and did all this stuff. Uh, comment below if I should uh, drag her out more often. She likes fish and she just gets cold fast. So we're gonna get uh, off the lake and try to go get something to eat. Stop by my cousin's house and then I still gotta drive home today. So like I said before, hit the like button. New, subscribe. See you guys later.